Hi everybody, this is Ron from RK Homestead. Welcome back. Uh, today we've got a couple chores I need to get done before Kim gets home from work. So stay tuned and follow along. So the first thing I'm going to be doing today is replacing the sand for the sand bath for our quail. We've got two setups for quail. We've got one that is for eggs only that we sell, unfertile eggs. And then we have our next setup that is for fertile eggs. And these are our boys and girls for our fertile eggs. So we can uh, either sell fertile eggs or um, hatch them and raise chicks. So the play sand they use is a dust bath. And we strain it out, get all the clumps out of it. And but uh, once in a while, you just need to get in there and pull it all out and replace it. That's what I'm going to be doing today. So when I built the quail coop, I built a door between the outside and the inside so that if I need to do any work in here, I can chase them to the other side and block them off. So. Now they're all over on that side, and I won't be bothered with them. So I've got chickens helping me today, too. So that's always awesome. So we're just using play sand that we get from, uh, you know, Jerry's or Wall or Home Depot or whatever. So. 50 pound bags. Normally I'll put two bags in here, but I'm not sure about today. We'll see. Well, definitely like to take dust baths. It helps keep mites off of them, and they just seem to really enjoy it. So, and most poultry do enjoy a dust bath. Chickens do, turkeys do. Not sure about ducks or anything, but. And when they do lay their eggs, they like to lay them in the sand. So we like to keep the sand nice and clean as much as we can. I've got two of Kim's chickens in here helping me out. Oh, and Mr. Turkey. We 
we've got some cold weather coming up next week. Supposed to get down about 19 degrees. So, keep an eye on all our waters and our water hoses and stuff so we don't freeze everything. Thought most of our freezing weather was over with, but apparently it's not. So in the winter time, the quail stay over in this side a lot more because it's a lot warmer. It is enclosed. The top is hardware cloth, except I've got a couple sheets of plexiglass up top so they can get sunlight in. So with them staying in here a lot of time in the winter, it means they poop and pee a lot in here. So. Definitely in need of being replaced. So, got it all cleaned out. Here's the play sand I'm using. That's a 50 pound bag. And I'm going to be putting two bags in. Then I'm going to be adding DE to the play sand, which helps for mites also. And then I'll let everybody back in. I gotta go get the DE. Okay, so this is the DE we use. It's food grade, so the quail can eat it, and it will not harm them in any way. And it helps for mites and everything else that they get on them. It'll kill the mites off. So you're gonna spread some around in their sand. This is really good to use with any of your poultry. Uh, you can put it in with the pigs, anything that you want to keep any kind of bugs or parasites away. So, that's it. So, I'm going to open up the door and we'll see how they like their new sand. Now they seem like they're more interested in pecking at it than they are dust bathing right now.
Well, now that this chore is taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and close these guys up. And we'll start on the next one. So the next jar we have is going to be with the rabbits. So we have three sets of rabbit cages. One set is for our breeding females. The other set of cages is for our breeding males. And then our third set is for our grow outs. We call them either babies or teenagers. And they stay in these cages until Either they're sold as pets or we butcher. Uh, two of these females we took out of here are youngest and now they're breeding females. So, much rather sell them as pets, but we can only have so many females that are breeding. So, this is our cage set up for our grow outs. These guys are just teenagers. about four months old I mean they're actually adults but we noticed the other day that their whole floor collapsed you can see all the wire broke right through so I have to replace all this wire and that's my next chore so stay tuned for that so I need to come up with something to block off their door. So I can isolate this one side. And this piece of wood will work. I need to get some screws and screw it in. Okay, bunny rabbits. You need to move to the other side. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Go that way. So they're all over there on that side, and I can get to work over here. some blood before I slice my hand open on camera. So these are air nippers. You can get electric ones and they're made for cutting sheet metal. But if you're doing a lot of cages for rabbits or quail or chickens or whatever and cutting through a lot of hardware cloth, these work. They're worth their weight in gold. So, I mean, they're not ideal, but it sure makes a lot quicker than trying to use a pair of shears. trim on the end and 
and the old floor is free. So I'm going to secure the edge of the old floor right here because when they built this, we did not build this, we bought this. They did the entire floor to this side, all the way to this side, all one piece of hardware cloth. So I'm going to secure this edge just so it doesn't pull through the other side and the rabbits start running around. I'm just using an air stapler. All right, that should do that. Now, my new piece of hardware cloth needs to be 36 Six by forty three. All right, let's go get a piece. Well, I didn't have any scrap pieces that'll work, but I've got a brand new roll. It's thirty six inch by five foot, so that'll work. So all I have to do is just cut the length off and staple it down. The new floor of the rabbit hutch is complete. Wasn't too bad of a job. But I didn't videotape me doing it because you'd be staring at my backside the whole time. So now I'm gonna let the rabbits out and see how they like it. Come on, let's go check out your new floor.
What do you think? Have a big old hole. Well, I think it's rabbit approved. Well, everybody, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and please give it a thumbs up and if you want to be notified of any videos we put out just hit the notification bell and as always please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and if you are thank you very much and thank you for taking your time to watch our little homestead all right you guys take care stay safe and we'll see you next time